Welcome to Live Let Thrive, a podcast about the Airbnb life, the share economy, and everything in between. Here are your hosts, Micah and What's up, y'all? I'm back with another video. Man, it's been 24 hours since I dropped the last one, and a lot of things have come to the light. So, uh, I didn't watch the Brian Chesky video, but I seen the aftermath of... So, I guess he put together a $250 million fund for a host, for super host, and you can qualify up to a $5,000 grant, so you don't have to pay it back. Uh, from what I'm hearing, you don't have to pay it back, but I seen the, I went ahead and looked up the circumstances on it, and a lot of us, pretty much, if you arbitrage on a large scale, or you own on a large scale, if you do large scale of uh, Airbnb uh, listings or whatever, you automatically don't qualify. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over all of the requirements for this, uh, what is it, the... Um, Airbnb super host relief grant. So it's up to $5,000. Now the last SBA grant and loan that I showed you the grant, I think is 10,000. So if you qualify for both and you get both, that's 15,000 in your pocket. All right. So, so to qualify for this Airbnb super host grant one, you have to be a super host. You have to have been a super host for a year. You have to have a verified identity have lost a significant percentage of your earnings due to COVID-19. But here goes the flip side. You have to show reliance on Airbnb as a vital source of income and only share your primary or secondary residence. So no more than two active listings. Kind of see what they're doing. Like I think they're trying to go for people who, hey, if you can't pay your mortgage, we got you, you know, which is cool. But it's a lot of people that do. Like even if you own five houses and you depend a lot, like more, those people, probably depend more upon Airbnb than somebody with one or two, you know, I don't know. Depends on how you look at it. So those are the requirements. Um, I pretty much, I'm automatically disqualified. So after I read the rules on it, I'm like, uh, okay, cool. But yeah, I don't qualify. So I'm guessing you guys can start putting in applications on that on April is when they said they'll start putting in the applications. And I mean, I don't know how many applications, what, so it's two hundred fifty million. Every person gets five thousand. I didn't run the math on it, but yeah, that's a limited number of people that will get approved. So I would suggest, and when April hits in two days, well, it's midnight now. I'm recording this, but April hits in about twenty four hours. You might want to be the first one on that. Go ahead and get registered, signed up, whatever you got to do. Um, the next thing I'm talking about is. So uh, this goes back to the SBA loan. NAV launched a uh, a uh, SBA loan calculator, an estimate calculator, where you can actually type in all of your expenses, and it will give you a calculated estimate of what you can get back from the government. Um, I think I did an estimated of like one. So I did like I had one hundred eighty-one thousand in expenses last year, and it qualified me for thirty-seven thousand. I didn't run the percentage on that, but but I know that whole 181 doesn't qualify uh, because they're looking mainly for like your workers, your cleaners, things like that. Uh, you can't count VA. If you're okay, if your VA is overseas, they're not counting overseas workers. So if you're looking at like a VA in the Philippines, like I'm VA heavy in the Philippines, I don't qualify that, that, that those expenses don't qualify as part of their loan program, which I didn't know. Um, and then what else we have? We have the uh, the last thing that people really, really might want to look at, especially if you're in a financial hardship or you're just looking to say, forget it, let's start investing money. Look at the 401k. The government just straight up canceled all penalties on 401k withdrawals. And you can withdraw up to $100,000 from your 401k. If you would now, the kicker is you have three years to pay it back. Now, if you draw draw a hundred thousand dollars in three years, you got to pay it back. You better make some sound investments. But I was telling people, if you're going to buy real estate, you better buy something off market where you can do either the burst strategy or you're flipping. Um, the only downside and caveat to that is we technically don't know how the the lasting effects of real estate is going to have what COVID nineteen the effect is going to have on real estate. From what I've been reading pandemics usually don't have an effect on real estate, but we just don't know. We don't know how long we're going to be in this thing. I mean, Trump just extended it another 30 days 
to be on lockdown for certain cities. I don't know what city you're in, but I know the city of Dallas where I'm at. They have already pushed their – sounding like they're following the president's orders, which is cool, but, you know, if this keeps going on, we don't know what the economy is going to be like. So, yeah, you have three years to pay it back, but you can borrow up to $100,000 tax-free for now on your 401k and any money that you've already pulled from your 401k and you, it was due. I think it was, hold on. Yeah. So any payment dates for any loan due for the rest of 2020 will be extended for a year. If you already have a loan out on your 401k. So it looks like they're doing the best they can to, you know, keep money flowing, you know, um, through the system, you know, it, it's getting bad it's starting to look, Really like 2008-ish again. I don't know if you guys remember where you were at in 2008. I remember where I was at. I was, you know, definitely didn't have the knowledge that I have now, but it is what it is. But, yeah, keep up y'all hustle. But, yeah, these are just a few things that have came down the line. So, yeah, if you go to nav.com, it'll tell you how much you actually qualify for in a calculator. You just have to know your um, expenses last year, your payroll, wages, all that, how much you paid out. Uh, like I said earlier, if I uh, said in my last video, if you are organized, this should be pretty easy to get. If you're not, you're going to have to do some digging. Uh, so, yeah, check out the 401k withdrawal loan. See if you qualify for the Superhost Relief Fund. And, uh, yeah, go to NAV and see how much you qualify for, man. Uh, yeah, that's just a quick update. I will holler at y'all when I have some more information. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Live, Let, Thrive. Be sure to tune in next week for all the latest in the world of Airbnb and all that entails. Bye-bye.